you might have uh, you might have read a statement from the the Queensland branch of the Maritime Union through the week, um, uh, talking about how the the MUA had our permit for a, a, a peaceful assembly retracted by the Port of Brisbane. We are here today because the genocide of the Palestinian people at the hands of the fascist occupying Israeli regime weighs on the conscience of many workers around the world. They said they seen the flyer out there and they would not allow political rallies, uh, political rallies on their property. Well, it ain't your land, it's the Kondamurka land. And it's the land where the MUA and the fellow Q-Tough unions do our business and where our members work. I acknowledge that we're standing on the solemn land of the Kondamurka people. And as I stand here for justice for the Palestinian people, I also stand for justice for the indigenous people in this country who have suffered centuries of brutal colonialism under the banner and pretext of civilization. Sovereignty of this land was never ceded just like in Palestine, from the river to the sea, always was, always will be. One, um, no trade with apartheid to Israel. Two, we call on the government to sanction Israel. And three, drop the charges of the MUA officials and protesters for standing up for the cause. It's been more than seven months since our fellow unionists in Palestine have launched a call for unions and labor organizations around the globe to intensify our efforts to put an end to Israel's hegemony, to put an end to Israel's genocide in Gaza. Today, this is what working class solidarity looks like. This is who we are as trade unionists. The Federation of Trades Union in Palestine have called on unionists from around the globe to move beyond solidarity statements. And I'm telling you, solidarity statements have expired dates. They have expired now. Now is the time to act. As unionists, we know we do not reinforce illusions in capitalist diplomacy. We mobilize the full strength of the labor movement to blow, to, to strike a blow against colonialism, down with colonialism. I think you know, we understand as trade unionists that this system, you know, this nation does not work without our consent. You know, the, the minerals don't get to the port, the ships don't get loaded without workers, without railway workers and without maritime workers. The cities don't get built without construction workers. You don't get food on your table without agricultural workers and truckies and retail workers. None of this works without our consent, right? And so when the boss tells us, you know, in the union movement that they're not going to pay us a living wage and they're not going to pay us our fair share, we don't come cap in hand and go, please, sir, Please, sir, can, can we live another day? No, we walk out the gate and we lock it behind us. Don't we? So when the government says that they want to continue trade with Israel and they don't want to support uh, the sanctions that we're calling for, what do we say? <laughs> we, we'll create our own sanctions, thank you very much. We'll stop the trade ourselves and we'll do that We'll do that with picket lines, and we'll do that with sit-downs, and we'll do that with stop works. Yeah. They're saying it's only a little bit of investment. Does that mean a little bit of genocide is okay? No. Does that mean a little bit of terrorism is okay? No. Of course it doesn't. None of it is okay. None of it will ever be okay. And so as angry and as sad and as heartbroken as we all are, Days like today give you hope. To see that when we stand together and we come together in events like this, we are pushing back. And in our own space, we're all doing our bit. And I agree with Scotty, we have to do more. Because it will never be finished until there is peace in Palestine, until there is justice for the war crimes that have been committed in that country.
And so I call on all trade unionists across the country to stand with unionists for Palestine. And I call on them to stop this oppressive regime over in Israel and call for the liberation of the Palestinian people and to end the genocide. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! While these very rallies are happening around the country today, I can assure you um, the government of the day are watching and they're listening. And the, and internationally, the, I think the whole world's going to hear this today. So uh, solidarity with you all. Yeah. Yeah.